right, Joey Myers here, Hitting Performance Lab. I just wanted to give you guys a testimonial of Mikey Fung, one of my hitters who I've been working with for, what, six years now? What we did was we used the strobe goggles, and how we did it was we took two rounds of five, so ten swings total. We had a break between the five of not wearing the goggles, so kind of like a control round. And then we took two rounds of five, again, another ten swings with the goggles on, set on level two, which is a higher strobe, so more frequent strobe. And then we took two rounds without the goggles, again, of five, so ten swings total. And I want to show you, I want Mikey to tell you kind of what he felt as a benefit. goggles I saw didn't really see the ball as much as I did after the rounds. After I saw the seams I could tell the spin of it and it almost looked like a beach volleyball to me. Uh -huh. And how long has it been since you hit before today Mikey? Uh, since July. August. July. So July. So end of July? Yeah. August, September, October. So about three months? Yep. So this is the first time you've hit in three months, mm -hmm. right? So you felt you felt like you saw the ball better on the on the back end. Yep. How about with uh, when we talked about your mechanics, worrying about mechanics, did you feel like you had to kind of internalize a little bit more? Yeah, almost I like, felt like I had to rely on my instincts a little bit more and feel it almost. Cool. Thanks, Mikey. Hey, what's going on? It's Joey Myers from the Hitting Performance Lab. We are going to get a short interview from Mr. Chase, who's 13 years old. He just got done using strobe glasses, and we're going to kind of see. We didn't get a chance to get anything on film because we didn't have a third person out here to show the actual session. So we're going to ask Chase what he thinks. All right, Mr. Chase, so we just used the strobe glasses. So what, first of all, what did you think when you put them on? What was kind of the first thing that came to mind when you, when you figured we were going to be hitting pitches with these on? There's no way I'm going to be able to touch the ball. <laughs> and we had it on level four, right? Mm -hmm. Level four, which if you go up, there's eight levels total. And level eight is there's a lot more black before you get to see what you get to see. So level one, it's it's strobing more, so you get to see get more information. So we started on four. What did it feel like to hit on level four? Just being able to not see as many different like clips, mm -hmm. so I didn't really get to pick up the ball until the ball was maybe four feet away, mm -hmm. and then right over the plate was the next time. And so. how, and how did your round go? How with plate discipline? That, not good. <laughs> it was, your, your timing. Everything was just off. Like I just I wasn't even using any of my mechanics. Ah, right. So hard, hard to see mechanics, hard to pick them up. Yeah. So how about with, we switched to a two, so a little easier so you could get more information. Yeah. So how is that different than four? How did you, how'd you feel there when you were hitting? I was able to see, it was faster, so I was able to see more of the ball and 
from coming out of your hand all the way to where the plate is. Mm, some more information, better plate discipline, we swung up more strikes, mm -hmm. better timing. And last question, how, how did it feel when you took the goggles off after using them for two rounds? Two rounds of five, so it's ten, 10 swings total, right? Mm -hmm. So after, two swing, after 10 swings uh, with a break in between, how did it feel when you took them off for a round of five? It hit the ball much harder. I took a lot more pitches that were out of the zone, and I was just able to see the ball. 10 times better than when I put them on the first time. Much better play discipline, much better timing, mm -hmm. and I think we hit our hardest ball at the end, right? The last one, great launch angle, good ball exit speed. We weren't taking ball exit speed, but it was it was pretty good. So, all right, thanks, Chase. The Hitting Performance Lab wants to know, did you know that you may be losing out on eight miles per hour of average bat speed because of one commonly taught hitting technique? Have you ever heard the coaching terms? Squish the bug, squish out the cigarette butt. Well, we created a free video revealing the results of a scientific study that will show you how we added an average of eight miles an hour to average bat speed by doing the exact opposite of squishing the bug. Click here now to get the video while it's still free.